What happened to Jerry and the pacemakers? Marston was born on September 24th, 1942 to Frederick Marston and Mary McLendon. His interest in music began at an early age. He remembered staying on top of an air raid shelter singing Ragtime Cowboy Joe and getting a great reception from onlookers. The group was founded in 1956 by Jerry Marston, his brother Fred, Les Chadwick, and Arthur McMahon. At one point in their careers, they played in the same areas of Hamburg and Liverpool as the Beatles. Around 1961, Les McGuire took McMahon's place on the piano, also known as Arthur Mack. Jerry Marston and the Mars Bars was the group's original moniker, but they were forced to change it after the Mars Company, which makes the chocolate Mars Bars, complained. For a one-time show at Litherland Town Hall on October 19, 1961, the Beatles and Jerry and the Pacemakers merged to form the Beatmakers. Jerry Marston, Paul McCartney, John Lennon, Les McGuire, Pete Best, Freddie Marston, and Cruiser's vocalist Carl Terry joined Chadwick on bass guitar in the lineup. The band was the second to sign with Brian Epstein, who later signed them to Columbia Records, which is a sister label to Parlophone which was owned by EMI and was owned by the Beatles. In January 1963, they began recording How Do You Do It, a song that Mitch Murray wrote. The song, which was produced by George Martin, reached the top spot on all charts in the UK, marking the first time a Liverpool band managed by Epstein had done so. How Do You Do It was also recorded by the Beatles reluctantly, and Martin eventually agreed to let them release their song Love Me Do as a single instead. Murray's I Like It and Roger and Hammerstein's You'll Never Walk Alone were during the Pacemakers' next two singles. They both reached the top spots on the UK singles chart. You'll Never Walk Alone was recorded in plays of Hello Little Girl by the Beatles. Since seeing Carousel as a child, Marson's favorite song was You'll Never Walk Alone. It quickly became the team anthem for the Liverpool Football Club and later for other sports teams worldwide. The song is still an anthem for football. When a fellow Liverpool band, The Searchers, recorded Needles and Pins, it kept I'm the One off the top spot for two weeks in February 1964, which made the group miss out on a fourth consecutive number one hit, which would have been a record. Jerry and the Pacemakers never had another UK number one single despite this early success. The majority of their songs, including I'm the One, It's Gonna Be Alright, and Fairy Cross the Mercy, were written by Marsden at the time. Their first and biggest hit in the U.S., Don't Let the Sun Catch You Crying, peaked at number 4 in the Billboard Hot 100. Additionally, the band appeared in the early 1965 film Fairy Cross the Mercy, for which Marston composed a significant portion of the soundtrack. Jerry and the Pacemaker's version of A Hard Day's Night is a term used to describe the movie. In 1989, Marston and other Liverpool stars including Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, and Holly Johnson of Frankie Goes to Hollywood revived the title song as a charity single for an appeal in response to the Hillsborough football crowd disaster. This gave Marsden, along with Liverpool Stars, another British number one single. In 1963, their recordings were released in the United States by the small New York City record label Lari, with whom they released four unsuccessful singles. Don't Let the Sun Catch You Crying, Lari's next regular single became a big hit when the Beatles broke through the U.S. in January 1964. In 1964, Lari also released the singles How Do You Do It with You'll Never Walk Alone from the album How Do You Like It. They performed alongside Chuck Berry at the Teenage Music International show in December 1964. Marston wed Pauline Behan in 1965 and the couple had two daughters together, Yvette and Victoria. On both sides of the Atlantic, their popularity was rapidly declining by the end of 1965. They broke up sometime between the beginning and middle of 1967, and most of their later recordings were never released in the UK. Marston pursued a low-key career in television after leaving the group, including a regular role on children's television in The Sooty Show. In addition, he played the role of Joe Brown, another pop singer in the West End musical 
Charlie Girl. And he was in there alongside actors like Derek Nemo and Anna Neagle to compliment Marsden's Liverpool accent a brand new song called Liverpool was added to the soundtrack. In 1970, Maguire was briefly in charge of the Mississippi blues band Hog Owl, and he also worked with the Pacemakers on occasion to perform together. In 1972, he and pianist Jose McLaughlin, along with fellow Liverpool musicians Billy Kinsley and Pete Clark, reformed the Pacemakers. The only Mersey beat band to ever record for the John Peel show on BBC Radio was the second version of the band in April 1973. Jerry and the Pacemakers Live at the BBC, released in October 2018 on Parlophone Records, features songs from that performance. During the 1980s, Marston re-recorded two of his previous hits, donating all proceeds to charity and he went back to the top spot on the charts twice. He formed a group called The Crowd in 1985 to produce a new version of You'll Never Walk Alone, following the Bradford Football Club stadium tragedy in which 56 people were killed. Other musicians, singers, and radio disc jockeys were also in the group. I'll Never Walk Alone, which Marston co-wrote with former Melody Maker editor Ray Coleman, was published in 1993. And if you want to check this book out, I will have a link in the description below or it's popping up on screen right now. With the England Supporters Club, he recorded the song Red, White, and Blue in 1990, which is also on the Euro 96 album England's Glory. Marsden underwent triple bypass heart surgery in September 2003 at Liverpool's Broad Green Hospital. In 2016, he had a second heart operation. In Formby, Freddie Marston, a drummer, founded the Pacemaker Driving School. He was 66 when he passed away on December 9th in Southport. Jerry Marston collapsed on stage on March 15th, 2017, while he was performing at a concert in Newport, Wales because of a sore knee. Marston did not return after being assisted off stage, but he was quoted as saying that the incident was nothing serious. Jerry Marsden announced his retirement on November 29th, 2018 in order to spend more time with his family. However, on June 6, 2019, he surprised Take That fans by singing You'll Never Walk Alone at their show at Anfield, and that was to commemorate Liverpool's Champions League victory over Tottenham. On December 26, 2019, the original bass player Les Chadwick passed away. Jerry paid tribute to the National Health Service by releasing a version of You'll Never Walk Alone in 2020 during the COVID-19 pandemic. On January 3, 2021, Jerry Marston passed away. McGuire is the last Pacemakers player who is still alive after the deaths of Freddie Marston in 2006, Les Chadwick in 2019, and Jerry Marston in 2021. Les made an appearance on an Antiques Roadshow episode in 2022. And that's what happened to Jerry and the Pacemakers. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know who should I do next on this channel. Give me some facts about the band that I failed to mention. And thank you for watching. Check out that book in the link and I'll see you in the next video.